Run it back, Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. Speaking of frauds. This is brought to you by DraftKings. If you want to get into sports betting, you can click the link in the description right now. Bet $5, just $200 in free bets. Bam, there you go. Now you got $200 in free bets to bet on whatever you want. So if you've been hesitant to get into sports betting, this is probably the best opportunity for you to get $200 worth of free bets by just putting up five bucks. Gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Not valid in all states. Let's go! Jalen Hurts throwing the football in the first half of this game was once again... For the third week in a row, nothing short of mind-blowing when I look at what I thought he was by the end of last season and the potential that I thought he didn't have. For him to come out here and do this in three weeks is ridiculous. And the main thing I want to say about Jalen Hurts in this game that I really saw, that I really noticed, is he's dropping back in the pocket and he's looking down the field. You know, last season with Devontae Smith, we were saying, why is it? Why didn't he take more deep shots? You know, he was more conservative, but the play calling was more conservative. You know, Nick Sirianni wasn't putting him out there, asking him to throw the ball down the field like that. So what he did in the offseason, completely changing his mechanics, and then coming out here throwing the ball like this is crazy. I, I didn't see him look down the field like this last season. He took deep shots in this game. He took deep shots in this game. He hit Devontae Smith down the sideline, which on, on the in the first quarter, right? 48 yards, was it? 38 yards? Devontae makes a ridiculous catch. Absolutely insane catch, and it wasn't his only insane catch of the day, and Devontae is probably definitely topic number three on this post-game live show. He hits Devontae Smith down the right sideline, gets a toe tap down. We're not sure if he has two feet down. They run the next play before Ron Rivera can get the challenge flag out, which is funny. How do you fuck up throwing a challenge flag? How do, like You couldn't get the flag out of your, out of your thing fast enough? <laughs> Devontae makes a ridiculous catch on that ball. Uh, he threw one down, down the, the left sideline to A.J. Brown. Just right over the top of the defense, right in the bread basket. I'm not saying I could get open there, but if that was me in that situation, I could have caught that ball. That's how well that ball was dropped in there. Then he hits Devontae for that, that deep double coverage down on the goal line, uh, and Devontae just pinpoints, high points the ball, safety behind him, Corner in front, who he just burned to smithereens. And he high points the ball in double coverage and snags it. Lands flat on his back. Man. Jalen Hurts was heaving that thing today. You know, I was saying coming into this game, Carson Wentz is what Carson Wentz is. He's always going to be what he is, which is a guy who can throw the ball when he's given time. But he's always going to make stupid mistakes he's gonna dive head first into defenders saw that saw him dive straight into into tj edwards took a helmet right to the temple he had a chance to run out of bounds one play and he and he turned back and lowered his shoulder he takes hits he's not a smart quarterback on the fly he takes way too many hits He's not going to be sustainable. He's going to be hurt by week five if he keeps playing the way that he's playing here. I thought the Washington Commanders had a lot of drops. But Carson Wentz, with the mistakes that he was making, was downright atrocious. He was flat out terrible. Carson Wentz has 68 fumbles in 88 starts. <laughs> Let me say that again, man. Carson Wentz has 68 fumbles in 88 starts. Jalen Hurts, man, this 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 stat line is crazy. I mean, if you would have looked at, you know, Jalen Hurts versus Carson Wentz, the dynamic, this is the quarterback that requested a trade because Jalen Hurts was drafted to back him up. And they, they face each other for the first time on opposite teams, and Jalen Hurts goes 
22 of 35 for 340 yards, three touchdowns for a 123 rating. And Carson Wentz goes 25 of 43, 211 yards, sacked nine times for a 71.0 rating. If you would have told me Jalen Hurts would outperform Carson Wentz to this level a year ago, I would have said you're you're crazy. And I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it right now. And I just, I, I can't, I don't think I can say it enough. I don't think I can say enough that Jalen Hurts is just blowing my mind with what he did this offseason. I didn't see him looking down the field, heaving the ball like he's heaving the ball right now. I just didn't see it last season. And when people said he can develop into a Russell Wilson, I thought they were crazy. I didn't see the natural throwing ability, I guess. Call me a hater. I was a hater. What Jalen Hurts has looked like so far, he if he can continue to play like this, which three games in, I know it's three. It's not like it's the best teams in the NFL. But the way he's throwing the ball, the way he's looking down the field, the way he's heaving it, I got to go there too. One of Jalen Hurts' biggest issues last season and through college, his entire uh, quarterback uh, quarterbacking career, was his timing. And his timing led to short, deep throws. And that led people like me to believe that he didn't have the arm strength to be an elite NFL quarterback. Really, it was mechanics, it was timing. And a lot of people told me that, and now I'm seeing it. Because he changed some of the mechanics, he cleaned up some of the things, the timing, the pocket awareness, the reading the field, the letting the ball go before the receiver's wide open, right? Throwing the receiver open. And I'm seeing the ball travel 40, 50, 60 yards through the air almost effortlessly. One of the best throws Jalen Hurts made in this game was an incompletion. In the second half, he threw that ball to A.J. Brown deep down the middle of the field. Jalen Hurts was inside his own 40, and that ball landed in the end zone. He threw that ball 60-plus yards through the air and it didn't look like he had to... That's the thing. When you saw the slow motion replay of, of facing Hurts from the front, right? It didn't look like he had to put his whole body into it. You know, he wasn't making that face like, oh man, this is going to take everything I have to get it there. It looked like perfect mechanics and just a flick of the wrist and that thing went 60 yards. So I'm blown away. I said, if Jalen Hurts throws for 400 yards in a game, I will buy five... Hurts season hats from Lord Brunson, and I'll give four of them away. He was at 330-something in the first half, so I thought we were going to see 400. We didn't see 400 because of the conservative play calling in the second half. Uh, but listen, it's only three games. But Jalen Hurts has gotten me very close to... I mean, I'm, I was a hater. Straight up. <laughs> He's got, that's it. I don't know what else to say. I said last year I would be happy to be proven wrong. And man, he he has proven me wrong so far in three games and I couldn't be happier about it. 